Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are trying out a new collection from NYX called High Glass. So I bought several products to try out and it was really intriguing to me because it's supposed to be like the glass skin kind of trend. And if this will give me glass skin, I will be most excited. I also got a couple things that aren't high glass but were new items that I thought would be fun to try out together. Obviously I've done my eyes and brows. So basically I'm just working on the face. So the first thing is I did get the high glass face primer. This one is in the shade Moonbeam looks like this. It is $17 at Ulta. I think that's on par with NYX prices, but if you consider like drugstore prices, I think it's a little bit high. We're going to see how it performs though. It could be amazing. Also from the High Glass Collection, I got the Finishing Powder. This one goes for $12 and of course I got the shade Light. No surprise there. That is what it looks like. It says the key benefits of this, it's part of the first ever pro high glass skin regime featuring different shades for a wide range of skin tones, a creamy formula and infused with micro pearls. It gives the appearance of luminous glass skin. This is cruelty free as well. So that sounds really, really good. Like obviously we all want some smooth, beautiful glass skin. The finishing powder, it says infused with micro pearls as well. Healthy glassy skin maintains the appearance of glass skin while also absorbing excess surface oil. And it has shades for light, medium, and dark skin. It is cruelty free. So really you're supposed to get that K-beauty glass skin trend with these products, which I'm really excited to see if that works. I also got one of the High Glass Illuminating Powders. This is in the shade Moon Glow. That is shade number one, also $12. So this is more of a highlight powder. It has, again, micro pearls, gorgeous glassy skin, imparts a mirror-like sheen. Mirror-like, ooh. Um, it says shades that highlight all skin tones and again, cruelty-free. So those are the High Glass products that I got. I also picked up the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer, which I have not tried yet and then I also got the radiant finish setting spray so this is supposed to be long lasting and radiant this was kind of merchandised with the high glass product so I thought it would be nice to try together and then I think this was a freebie but I figured we could use it it's a highlighting and bronzer palette we're gonna try out these bronzers right here obviously I have the high glass highlighter but these highlights in here look really nice too there's three different skin tones there so it's got some range that first one looks really nice so I like that this has something for everyone. So no matter who got it, like as a gift with purchase, it's still gonna suit your skin, hopefully. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna go in with, of course, the primer first. And I'm gonna use like one of my everyday staple foundations just so that I can, you know, compare what I normally wear to this. So this is what the high glass primer looks like. So I'm gonna go in with just a little bit first and see how it goes. They do have brushes too that you can apply these with. I didn't really want to pick up the brushes, honestly. I just wanted to kind of do my normal thing. Obviously, you know, different tools can have a different impact on the products. It's really nice. Ooh, I like the finish this is giving, but honestly, like I purchase everything that I'm using for these videos with my own money and I'm like, mm, that's kind of steep for some brushes. Like the one for the primer had little like knobby bristles, if that makes sense. It's a really cool looking brush, but I just didn't feel like I really cared to have them in my collection. Obviously, it may make a difference though, but the primer looks really nice. It's got a beautiful sheen to it. I feel like on a day where you don't want to wear makeup, this could be pretty even just on its own to give you that little luminosity and glow. I'm going to use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is just one of my favorites. And again, I like to use this as a baseline because I know how it performs. And a foundation that I already love. So in theory, these products would just elevate this foundation into a more radiant, glassy finish on the skin which would be amazing. Blending this out with my Stands Out Beauty Sponge. This is just a great quick tool. Again, another multitasking tool that is great for foundation. You can use it wet or dry, but I just wanna get this on quickly and move on to our other NYX products. You guys ever have like a hair that just wants to like be right in your face? I use a little brow gel when I have that issue, so I had to like fix this little hair. It was just like, hello, I want to be on your face. Put foundation on me. I'm like, damn hair. All right, so there's my base foundation looking really nice. I do feel like it's looking a little bit more glowy than normal over that primer. So yeah, let's just keep going. I'm gonna use the Born to Glow Concealer. I got the shade 1.5 Fair, no surprise there. And this one has a little like puffy applicator that you squeeze out. 
If this concealer is only $9, I think that's pretty reasonable. Oh, that's a pretty nice color. It's bright, but it's not overly white. Ooh. How big is this? It's point. 1.7 fluid ounces. I feel like I would go through this really fast. I feel like this has less product than a normal concealer, but I'm liking the way it's going on. And it has a much better shade range than that new Becca concealer, which also has a spongy applicator. So let's go ahead and see how this goes. Wow, that concealer is actually really pretty. I know you may not be able to see every detail, but it looks beautiful on the skin. Wow, okay, I'm really impressed with that concealer so far. Obviously, I don't know how it's gonna wear long term, but first impression of that glowing on and, <laughs> classic glowing on, going on and blending in, I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of setting powder just for my under eye, and then we'll go into the other products. Oh, this concealer is performing so well on my skin. Usually I'd already be creasing under the eye, and this one is not doing that. I'm so impressed. All right, the little color on my lower lash line needs a little attention. So while I still have that powder setting, I'm just going to lightly tap in and fix that up. The concealer kind of darkened a little bit with setting powder, which is strange. I'm using the Jeffree Star setting powder under my eye and I usually don't see that happen, but it looked like it just oxidized a little bit. Man, I hate that because I was loving the way that concealer was looking. So I'm just taking a little bit of that powder on my T-zone and then we are gonna switch over to the finishing powder. So this is a pretty glowy powder. It's not like highlight glow, but as you can see, it's definitely got a really pretty sheen to it. So I'm gonna go in pretty soft to begin with so I don't overdo it and just kind of stamp it. I'm liking the way my skin is looking so far. I'm pretty stoked about this. I'm actually taking a little bit of the powder just on my Stands Out Beauty sponge and just kind of pressing in to make sure that nothing is too tacky. I usually use more of a setting powder all over my face and this is a finishing powder which is a little different. So everything is feeling really nice. I'm not overly dry, but I'm not overly oily or shiny. And I like the sheen on my skin. I feel like this is looking so pretty. I hope you guys can see the effect that it's giving. It's subtle, but it's really pretty. Like my whole skin has this like shine to it, but it's not too much. I probably need to cool it with this powder, but I like it. It reminds me, honestly, of the Lancome Absolute Powder. If you don't know about that, it had a moment, I think Jaclyn Hill talked about it a lot for a little bit, and so it had like this moment where everybody was looking for it, and it is kind of this like very glowy powder, but it's so pretty, and I feel like this is actually a dupe for that. My skin looks super glowy. I do look a little bit more golden the lightest shades just kind of lean a little bit gold so i'll have to maybe bronze up my neck a bit more because it's leaving this like golden glow but it's really pretty yeah. all right so with that performing that well i'm really excited to see how this highlight goes okay the moment of truth i was expecting it to be a little bit more like bam in your face kind of thing but it's really pretty this is doing really nice on my skin not showing a lot of texture at all and as you can see you can build it up to become a little bit more blinding if that's the type of highlight that you are looking for but i look super glowy i'm gonna take this itty bitty fan brush and go on my brow bone that looks so pretty all right, I definitely need a little bit of color, but I'm just like kind of in awe at how my skin is looking. Mm, let me know your thoughts. I'm impressed. I'm actually afraid now with this bronzer because everything is looking so nice. So I'm gonna dab in just a little bit to this lighter bronzer. If this starts to look crazy after a second, I'm just gonna switch to some of my normal products because it's not really what we're testing out. Okay, not bad. Now this is a matte bronzer and my forehead is still looking really glowy. Hmm, this bronzer is nice too. I do like NYX products so I don't know why I'm trying to sound so surprised. Holy crap. 
crap. Okay, I really like this. So I'm just gonna stay with bronzer. I'm just gonna do like a really bronzy contour and we're just gonna go with it. It's actually not like overly warm, so it's still really pretty. Kind of in the area where I typically do blush, I'm just gonna stick with bronzer and just pull it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna be courageous and mix these two darker highlights and kind of do a little, little blush light over the bronze. My skin's looking really nice. Do you feel like I have the glass skin trend? All right, we have a little spritz to do. Mm, okay. All right, so I really want your opinion on how this turns out because glass skin obviously is kind of like in the eye of the beholder in a way because you may think it's glassy, I may not think it's glassy. I think though that overall it did a really, really good job. My skin looks nice and smooth. It looks very glowy. I'm seeing some smoothness that I don't normally see and I think between the primer and the powder it actually made a difference because like I said I've worn this foundation so many times I'm very familiar with how it looks on my skin and my skin looks really smooth. Now I still have texture. I'm still going to crease a little bit here. I can already tell that's just my, my life. And you can see like my skin is not perfect but nobody's skin is perfect. My skin has texture right through here which you can see a little bit on the forehead as well. My skin hasn't been the most behaving lately so I've had a little breakout, a little texture a little whatever but I think overall the products did a beautiful job of giving me a gorgeous overall glow I feel like these are gonna be some summertime staples specifically I'm loving the primer and the finishing powder I think between the two they made this already radiant foundation into something so beautiful and I already love the foundation like I said but I love it even more now as for the concealer which I know it's not part of the high glass collection I do think that it's looking really nice I think I'm gonna like this concealer a lot I'm gonna continue to use it with other things, but as I said, with this foundation that I already know and love, this concealer is also performing really nicely. I always crease under my eyes. I think that's kind of inevitable for me, but I do feel like it's performing very, very well. The coverage is nice. It's not extreme full coverage, but it's definitely got some medium, maybe even buildable to full coverage. The highlight is beautiful, don't get me wrong. It's not my favorite tone of highlight on me. The performance of the actual product is great. It's very luminous, it's very smooth. It's not emphasizing my texture. My texture is just there, but the highlights laying very nicely over it as you can see. I do like it. I think I'll like it better with a tan but as of right now when my skin is still in its kind of like winter pale shade I feel like it's just a little bit more golden than I would prefer but I still like it. I think it's a beautiful formula. I feel like most people would love this color and the other shades. I'm very very happy. I have to say I love these products like everything so far has been great. I don't know how it will hold up. I may do a little check-in and just be like hey this is how it's looking. I am gonna wear this for several hours. Yeah, so I was just double checking. It doesn't claim to be like a super long wearing product. What its claim is is to give you that smooth glowing glass like skin and I feel like it really did that. I feel like my skin looks so good right now. So I really want to know what you guys are seeing as compared to some of my other videos. Obviously I'm more glowy but are you seeing that like smooth reflective type of skin? I feel like I'm seeing it but I don't look oily. I just look like mmm sheen. I feel like they did it with this line and I'm so impressed. So let me know what you think below and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me test out these products. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you were having an amazing day and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye! Alright guys so my makeup has been done for about only about eight hours which is still a pretty long wear but I have to say that unfortunately after a couple of hours of wear on my NYX products I saw my texture come through more than ever and I think it's just because of all the glow it is accentuating texture at first it looks so so beautiful the thing that I'll probably do next time is use a pore filling primer something to smooth the face out I think maybe using one of these products here and there will be a little bit better but I don't know if you guys can really see like what I'm talking about, but I'm seeing a ton of texture. You can literally see it everywhere. Pores are emphasized right here on my skin. Just let me bring you in even closer. I'm seeing a lot of texture. Like it's just not looking good. Sorry for that major close up, but I feel like maybe this on its own would do just fine. And maybe if I had used something more pore filling that the finishing powder would have looked nicer too. And I hate this 
because I really love the way that everything was looking right up front. I was really enjoying it. I do have to say the concealer did pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with that. It is more like medium coverage, but it lasted throughout the day. It looks nice and glowy. And yeah, I was really, really excited when I first put these products on and so much so that I'm still gonna test them out. I wanna see how things will work with other products and maybe using a little bit of a different technique. But you know, for an hour, it looked pretty good. But after that, it just went like downhill. And I hate that because I was so excited and you guys saw like I was really loving it, but I just think it's a little bit too much glow for those of us who have texture. I feel like it just emphasized every, you know, feature of my face. Like you just turned up all the detail on my skin. So yeah, I just wanted to add that in and tell you guys, you know, my full 100% thoughts. I'm on the fence really about this one because I loved it so much in the beginning, but I can't really say like, oh my God, go spend your money and you'll look good for an hour. I feel bad because I really loved it in the beginning, but that's the truth. That's what's happening. So that was my glowy, glowy look that turned a little bit disastrous, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it anyway. And thank you guys so, so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.